Hello and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I would really want to thank you for showing your support, your likes, and that you really like to watch my videos and tutorials. And I prepared this comprehensive guide so you can secure up your server and your WordPress websites. This guide is a really comprehensive where we will talk about all aspects when it comes to the server and WordPress security. So please follow this guide. I will leave the link down in the uh, description and you can secure up your own servers and your WordPress website. So let me briefly make overview of this guide and what you can expect. So first of all, there is some basic introduction to the whole security thing and those kind of things. And the most important part with the server security is to choose a reliable server provider. And you can read more why you should uh, follow this. Basically, you want to have a server provider that have a built-in firewall, free DDoS protection, uh, proven good track record of the own data centers, uh, low or below 50% scam analytics reputation score for uh, server IP quality, server backups, full disk snapshots, and more than one gigabyte network connection and decent traffic quota. And also some good feature to have is to have a console access. There are many providers that, uh, there are not many providers that not provide everything listed here. And you can read more in this guide. Next part will be the cloud-based control panel. And this guide is towards more non-tech people. So cloud-based panel can help you partially manage your server and your website. It has many great advantages over traditional panels like Plus, cPanel, or a Direct Admin, is that you don't need to spend money on expensive licenses or use your valuable server resources. Here I talk uh, what platforms uh, should I choose or should you choose. This is, in my opinion, of this is my own, my own opinion. I try to be. I try to talk about the upsides and the downsides of each platform that I mention, like uh, GridPane and RunCloud. But uh, there are very more cloud-based platforms like Ploy. Server Avatar, Enhance, etc. But uh, I will not talk about them because I did not use them or did not try them because I like to use uh, solutions that offer Lightspeed integration, either Open Lightspeed or Lightspeed Enterprise. On the other hand, uh, I tried Enhance, but there are still some issues that are preventing me to use it fully in my production environments. Issues like uh, DNS level, integration with uh, Cloudflare and uh, Let's Encrypt, or uh, Redis caching with the Lightspeed servers, those features are must. And yeah, once they fix those things, once they move from their own, what is it called? Feature requests and those things, I will definitely review Enhance on my channel, but I think it should be around September or of November this year. And you will find in this guide overview of the grid pane, the run cloud, and also if you don't want to use uh, cloud panels, you can definitely deploy server panel, which is free and open source and build with Lightspeed out of the box. All the guides are here to my videos and to the setups. You can find everything in this comprehensive guide. Next, the next thing will be uh, SSH keys. Most of the cloud panels will do this for you. You just have to provide your own uh, public key. But if you don't know how to do it, you can follow this guide here. Also, you can find some firewall rules that I deploy on every server. Uh, least privilege access rules. And uh, Last thing, the most important is to securing up your WordPress websites. And this part is also very comprehensive. And uh, as you can see, you will learn how to disable XMRPC, 
4-bit execution of PHP scripts, of disable directory browsing, turn off pinbacks, of disable file editing, uh, bot protection, block access to potentially sensitive files, how to configure your security cookies, uh, security keys, salts, also how to secure cookies, and most important, uh, security headers. And you will get overview of each security header that I'm using. You can read more about them. And also, I uh, created snippets for you. So we can add them to your Apache Lightspeed Enterprise or Nginx Hybrid Web Server. Also, if you have only Nginx, you will need to add those snippets to the server block file. But also I included PHP snippet, which works on every web server out there. You just need to have some uh, snippet manager in your WordPress websites. And uh, also I will talk a little bit about WordFriends. You will find uh, the WordFact section here in this guide. Why you should consider using WordFriends, why you should not, and those kind of things. But my opinion on the several sec uh, WordPress security plugins is still the same. I don't like using them, but uh, I now see why WordFans may be good, good uh, option to use. And you will find everything in this guide. So I hope you really uh, like this guide. Make sure to follow step by step, read it properly. Take your time. It is really comprehensive. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave comments down below. And also, if you would like to secure up your server, your WordPress application, you can contact me at uh, webnestify.cloud forward slash contact. And you can get touch touching with me and we can secure up your own infrastructure. So, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for the. For the next video that I'm going to do, and it's going to be Misgard with the uh, Pi-hole configuration, World Warden, and those kind of things. So yeah, stay tuned and take care. Bye bye.